Times Front Page for Tuesday, August 2nd, 2022. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. The U.S. has killed al-Qaeda leader Ayman al-Zawari, who helped plan the September 11th terrorist attacks. Jeff Mordock reports al-Zawari was killed in a drone strike in Kabul, Afghanistan, Saturday night as he was standing on a balcony at an al-Qaeda safe house. President Biden announced the news from the White House Monday, saying U.S. intelligence officials learned that al-Zawahri had moved into the House and that he authorized the strike last week. Al-Zawahri, an Egyptian who took over al-Qaeda after the U.S. killed its longtime leader Osama bin Laden in 2011, had been a top U.S. target. He helped to mastermind the 9-11 terrorist attacks, as well as the 1998 suicide bombings of U.S. embassies in Kenya and Tanzania that killed more than 200 people. Ukraine looks poised to launch its first significant counteroffensive in its war of survival with Russia after months of playing defense in the face of its opponent's larger and better armed war machine. Mike Glenn reports Ukrainian officials and private analysts say its main thrust appears to be focused on Kherson, a crucial city in southern Ukraine that was among the first to fall to invading Russian forces in late February. The city has emerged as a key to Russia's efforts to tighten its hold on the southern and eastern edges of Ukraine. The counterattack could test the mettle of stretched Russian forces, which have struggled to keep up troop levels after what they believe would be a quick invasion and victory failed to materialize. A congressional delegation headed by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is expected to arrive in Taiwan this week, despite blunt warnings from China against the trip. Several media outlets and people familiar with Pelosi's itinerary have confirmed the Speaker will meet with Taiwanese government officials and others in Taipei on Tuesday evening and Wednesday, Joseph Clark reports. The meeting is going ahead despite warnings from the Chinese foreign ministry that the U.S. and Taiwan will face retaliation for what China says is a violation of its sovereign rights. Pelosi is joined by five other House Democrats on her trip through Asia that began over the weekend. She has not officially confirmed her stop in Taiwan. She would be the highest U.S. official to visit the island democracy since former Republican House Speaker Newt Gingrich did so more than two decades ago. You can read all of these stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page. You can also find our entire lineup of news, sports, and commentary podcasts at WashingtonTimes.com slash podcasts. Former FBI agents say they fear the Bureau's recent woes will seep into its critical terrorism and organized crime investigations. Jeff Mordock reports the FBI has been struggling to shake off complaints of political bias since the 2016 presidential election. Former agents worry that informants will be less willing to come forward or that jurors may not give an agent testifying at trial the same expectation of truth they once would have. FBI Director Christopher Wray will get a chance to explain the Bureau's issues on Thursday when he testifies before the Senate Judiciary Committee. The FBI did not respond to multiple requests for comment by Jeff about its loss of public trust. And finally, rank-and-file House Democrats are protesting party efforts to promote pro-Trump candidates in Republican primaries, a strategy based in the belief that they will be easier to defeat in the general election. Kerry Pickett and Seth McLaughlin report lawmakers are upset with Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee Chairman Sean Patrick Maloney. The New York congressman created the plan to spend campaign cash to boost candidates closely allied with former President Trump. Democrats have sought to influence the outcomes of Republican primaries in Michigan, Colorado, California, Pennsylvania, Illinois, and Maryland. Minnesota Democratic Congressman Dean Phillips said he was particularly disappointed with his party spending on the Republican primary opponent of Michigan Congressman Peter Meyer one of 10 House Republicans who voted to impeach Trump on charges of inciting the U.S. Capitol riot in 2021. Meyer and fellow Republicans Jamie Herrera Butler and Dan Newhouse of Washington are facing Trump-backed primary challengers in races that will test the former president's political reach. Find all of today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or on the Washington Times app. And find us wherever you get your podcasts. Just search Washington Times in any major podcast app. You can also find us on Twitter and Instagram at Wash Times for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For the Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo.